Right, the last thing I want to show you is the, so again in here, it's the ribbon end-to-end -end function. Now this is super clever because, let's go nip to the ribbons, because for example, you might have a small gift like this, <laughs> which has a name on it and a date, but you don't want the whole ribbon printed because actually what looks nice is having it just at the ends. So um, this is a great function for um, creating ribbons with um, you know the writing in a certain place. So let's have a look at, so let's okay the ribbon and have a look at the different options. So you've got best wishes for you. So that means you could put um, like happy birthday on this side and you could put someone's birthday date on that side. The other choice you could have is you could have it upside down. So again, when you're folding ribbons, sometimes you want one facing the other way so that when you're knotting it, it looks just right. You have, um, you can have the writing uh, going down uh, you know, vertically versus or horizontally <laughs> versus vertically. Um, you can have something repeating. Um, but uh, the one I like best is um, this double, you know, where you can put two different things on either end. And I'm gonna show you that. I mean, sorry, this one is just repeating the same on both ends. Now I'll show you the one I like best. Here we go, just for you. So if you wanted to have, um, you know, someone's birthday or you want to say thank you, for example, so you just press okay. It asks you if you text one here. I've got uh, someone's name because we were doing a little project earlier on, Daisy and John. Let's put thank you there. So type. Thank you, and a space. Oh, actually, no, you don't need the space. Let's take that away. You go OK. So you've got the word thank you in. And now it says text to. Here I had a date because it was a wedding. But you can use, let's get rid of that. Let's say I have someone's name like the teacher. So you go Miss. And then space, you say Jones. So that would be a cute little teacher's gift. Okay, so you've got the two ends, okay. Then it tells you what length. So this is kind of the, the standard uh, default. You can f fiddle with it again. You, you might want to um, practice tying something up, seeing how much that ribbon took, and then adding enough for the writing on either end. I'm gonna just quickly preview it. Oh, sorry, say hey. Okay. Then a quick preview. So obviously you can now scroll for ages, I don't need to, but just so you can see it. Um, and then I'm gonna say, okay, print. Now I've actually changed the cartridge in here. Um, here's a ribbon now, oh, here we go. There it is, it says thank you. And then I'm gonna cut it. And it says, thank you, Miss Jones. Now, um, probably actually a little bit short <laughs> to retire to, uh, 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 a bow, but you can see the principle of this, that when you then tie it, or you could just glue it like this, that would look quite sweet. But this is where the reverse thing comes into it. You, know, you can just experiment and have a look, and it's a really, really sweet function.